right, so what is today? Today is April 13th. All right, so we've got April 13th. And we are in chapter 10. We're skipping to chapter 10. We're going to take a look at 10-1. All right, so we will talk a little bit about sequences. So you can learn what a sequence is. And we're going to take a look at some Mation notation. And actually, they are really simple ideas. All right, so none of this, I mean, you will have to memorize maybe some formulas or some ideas here going on. But for the most part, this is really pretty simple, straightforward stuff. All right, now, we've talked about infinity before. Okay, so I can take this idea of a sequence, all right, which would be what, a set of numbers, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's a sequence. Okay, it's a sequence of numbers. There's commas in between them. I could have what we call an infinite sequence. Oh, man, what am I doing today? I don't know what I'm doing there. Infinite sequence. All right, so what? Infinite, infinity. That means it goes on forever and ever and ever. Okay, so basically, I just did one verbally. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, and then could I keep counting and keep counting forever and ever and ever? So I could put three little dots on there. So an infinite means it goes on to infinity. Okay, straightforward, easy concept. All right, if I did a finite sequence, it would be one that would stop for an easy, simple definition of it. Okay, um, so let's actually, uh, well, we can do one here. So I could do um, a sequence that was like, three, six, nine, 12, and maybe that's it. Boom, I stop. All right, there's no dot, dot, dot at the end. I could write out a formal definition. I could say sequences whose domains consist of the first n positive integers, okay? So, so many. This finite sequence has four terms in it, all right? If I wanted to make it have six terms, I can have six. If I wanted to make it have 10, I can have 10, all right? But just the difference between infinite and finite. Okay, so everybody straightforward there? Three little dots? No three little dots. All right, now what they're going to ask you to do is they're going to ask you to generate the first four terms of a sequence when given a formula, okay? So let's go ahead and write out all those directions. It'll say write the first four terms of the sequence. whose general term is given. All right, so basically what they're going to do, they're going to give you some type of little formula. And that formula is going to tell you how that sequence is generated, okay? And we know, we know how to do this, okay? Let's suppose we have, say, an A sub N. All right, so an A sub N. All right, is equal to a 3n plus, say, 4, okay? And if I want the first four terms of this sequence, I'm going to let my number n run from 1, 2, 3, 4. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1, I'm going to plug it in. And then I'm going to take 2, and I'm going to plug it in, that'll give me the next number. I'm going to take 3 and plug it in, that's going to give me my third one. I'm going to plug 4 in, that's going to give me ne my next one. All right, so for my, let's switch colors here. For my first term, I'm plugging in one. And I'm gonna plug it in right here. So it'll be three times one plus four. So my first term is gonna be seven. See, didn't need a calculator for that. My second term, I'm gonna plug in a two. So I'm gonna plug in two right there. So three times two plus four, 10. My third term, now I'm going to plug in 3. So 3 times 3 plus 4. Let's see, 3 times 3 is 9 plus another 4, 13. And then I'm going to plug in 4. So 3 times 4 plus 4. So 3 times 4 is 12 plus another 4 is 16. All right, so the math's not hard. Now. Since it did say write the first four terms of the sequence, 
me doing this, yes, I did write them, but I'm not kind of I'm not showing it as a sequence. So it might be a good idea to do seven and then ten and then thirteen and then sixteen. I mean that's writing it as an actual sequence. A sequence has commas in between them. All right, but pretty straightforward, right? Not hard. Okay, so no matter what type of formula I give you here for the general term, it, and they could ask for five terms, they could ask for three terms, they could ask for ten terms. Okay, that's all you have to do. 